Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Prism Baseball Quick Pitch Edition. It's four box, pick your team number one, and look at this. If you buy at least two teams, we're giving away $750 of break credit. This is a winner-take-all situation. Woo! That's pretty awesome. So all you have to do, buy at least two teams. That gets you one entry. Four teams gets you two entries. Six teams gets you three entries, so on and so forth. We'll do that randomizer at the end, but there's going to be a winner-take-all of all this break credit. Um, and no vet common ship. Hey, very big thanks to this crew right here for getting in on the action on Sunday the 29th. Andrew with that last spot mojo, maybe a little Dodger Joe mojo. There's everybody here. And it's a fresh four-box case or four-box break from a fresh case. There's quick pitch. So I think people are familiar with Quick Pitch, right? So it's just like uh, Prism Basketball, Fast Break, or Prism Football, No Huddle. So Quick Pitch will have that same vibe. It's kind of heavy case. All right. Let's see if I can get all these boxes out of here without having them all over the place. Nice. And once again, there's another four box break in the store right now. All right. So why don't we create another stack of four right over here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, twenty. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to select a die, select that one, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five on the dice roll. If I roll a six, we'll just roll again. Three, one, two, three. So that's the stack we're gonna do. So these other boxes we'll save for next time. So we're going to mark these boxes with X's right here just so we all know they're from the same case. All right, so we got all those boxes marked with X's so we all know they're from the same case. These four boxes are for us. And pick your team number one. All right, so five, pa uh, five cards per pack, 18 packs per box. We're looking for uh, silver prisms. Right there, quick pitch exclusives, donut circles or disco, one of one black finite prisms. Let's see what we got in here. Good luck, box number one. Got the, uh, we got some uh, preseason Sunday night football going on right now. And uh, there's Drew Brees in the booth. I think he'll be, he'll be working. I think he'll be working some of these games.
right. Quick pitch. Quick pitch. Box number one. Pick your team number one. Good luck. So these would be considered vet common. So these two will not ship. Inserts, of course, will ship. And obviously rookie cards will ship. And stuff like this will ship as well. It's obviously numbered 35 out of 199, Randy Arozarena. That'll be for the Rays, Joe M. There's Santiago Espinal, 58 out of 99. So these donut circles are uh, what makes these quick pitch unique. And we've got a rookie autograph. Blue Paven Smith, Kyle Harper with the Diamondbacks. One of their up-and-coming prospects, youngsters on that team. 29 out of 45. 29 out of 49, that is. There's Johan Oviedo, 169 out of 199. Silver, of course, will ship. Let's look for some rookie silvers would be awesome. Jose Abreu. 15 out of 40, Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Andrea. And Luis Robert. Illuminations Green Parallel. Max Scherzer, 66 out of 199. Still Washington edition here, going to Allen and the Nats. And there's Logan Gilbert, 55 out of 100. Seattle Mariners, Sean, uh, Sean Breen with the M's. Joey Bart, 89 out of 99 for my rivals, the Giants. Should certainly be a, a call up once rosters expand. David Duffy in San Francisco. Harmon Killebrew, you Darvish to one ninety nine. Got a Brady Singer, eighty two out of ninety nine. Ryan Castellani, 28 out of 199. And Jesus Sanchez at the end. All right, Castellani goes to Colorado. That'll be for Jonathan. The Brady Singer, Kansas City, Kyle Harper. And the U Darvish, of course, San Diego. That'll go to Sean Breen. That was our first box. Pick your team one, second box. I think all the Sunday games are in the books. In Pittsburgh, Cardinals beat the Pir uh, no, Pirates beat the Cardinals 4-3. In Baltimore, Rays beat the O's 12 to 8. At home, Phillies edged out the Diamondbacks 7 to 4. Indians beat the Red Sox 7 to 5 in Cleveland. Mets beat the Nats 9 to 4. Blue Jays 2 1 in Detroit. Marlins 2 1. Fish beat the Reds 2 1 in Miami. Braves shut out the Giants 9-0, but my Dodgers could not take advantage of that. They fell to the uh, Rockies earlier today. They, they got shut out by the Rockies 5-0. They were three hit by the Rockies. White Sox uh, pounded the Cubbies 13-1. Brewers beat the Twins 
There's another drubbing here. Rangers beat the Astros 13 to 2. Mariners edge out the Royals 4-3. And the uh, A's beat out the Yankees 3-1. That was a pretty pretty tight matchup as well. Next box. Ooh, nice. Rebel saying Royals did lose, but Salvador Perez had another home run to give him the AL record for most home runs in a season by a catcher. Nice. There's Alex Rodriguez, 23 out of 99. And Salvador Perez has certainly been having a really strong season. It's Trevor Bauer. And Tajay Anton, one out of 49, a rookie autograph for the Red Legs. Nice little color match there, red with the red parallel, Jonathan Arnaldi, Hollywood, with that one. And that's Seattle edition of A-Rod, by the way, that's going to go to Sean. Uh, Michael Brantley, 12 out of 99. That's going to go to the Strohs. That'll be for Patrick. Patrick Davis and a rookie silver Spencer Howard. That'll be for Mike and the Phillies. Marcel Ozuna, Bryce Harper to 199 for the Phillies. Mike. Shane McClanahan, rookie green. Nice for the Rays. That'll be for Joe, and this Randy Otto's Arrani will also go to you, Joe. Five games in a row for Salvador Perez, too. And two of them are Grand Slams? Man. 141 out of 199, Josh Fleming for the Rays. Joe with the Rays. A lot of parallels there, Joe. Dylan Carlson, rookie silver. Zach McKinstry for Andrea and the Dodgers, 008 out of 199. Freddie Freeman, 4 out of 40 for Atlanta. That'll be for Andrea. Pedro Martinez, blue, 183 out of 199. Red Sox, David. All right. Box in the books. I'm sure, uh, as far as the Royals are concerned, I'm sure they're going to... Bobby Witt Jr. must have... must be on the expanded when the roster expand a little bit except and soon this week at some point i'm sure bobby Witt jr will get called up to get a taste of the majors so let's see yankees who are on a small little two game losing streak still have won eight out of their last last ten they're still six games behind tampa bay but I think they're solidifying their wild card spot. White Sox are still 10 games ahead of Cleveland. They're cruising. Who else is. Yeah, speaking of the Royals, they, they've won seven of their last three. Or seven of their last 10, that is, seven and three in the last 10. I think Oakland won today. They're still five and a half games back of, of Houston. For the division, but I think they're going to go more wild card. What else is happening here? In I think all the standings right there. Everything's kind of standing a little pat. Dodgers are still two and a half games behind the Giants, missing a big opportunity today. The Giants lost today. 
But they're they're uh, they have seven and they're seven and three in their last ten. Padre struggling. They're two and eight in their last ten. Yankees, Yankees and Red Sox are are the two wild card teams at the moment with Oakland two and a half games back of a wild card spot. So they're on the outside looking in. So that was a big win for them. Seattle is four and a half games back. They could sneak in. Toronto five and a half games back. They might be able to get in there if they're if they uh, have a bit of a hot streak. Dodgers are trying to win the division, but they've got a solid grip on the on that first NL wild card spot. Cincinnati is currently the second wild card team. There's Cal Ripken Jr. to ninety nine. For Mike and the Orioles. And then San Diego is a game and a half back of Cincinnati. Their recent losing streak is not helping them. Cardinals are three and a half games back. Philadelphia is four games back. Mets seven games back. That's, that might be a challenge, but Padres and Cardinals still in the mix. There's Cody Whitley, 79 out of 199. Speaking of St. Louis, there's four Allen and the Cardinals. We got Hassan Kim, 107 out of 199 for the Padres. That'll be for Sean. And Dean Kramer is your autograph. Nice. I like the aqua. I like the, the donut circles. And that's for Mike Grzynski and the O's. And that's numbered to 12, Mike. 7 out of 12. Nice low number there. Jorge Guzman, blue to 199. Now Larry Walker, silver. Chipper Jones, green. I think the greens are not numbered. Yeah, they're not. But obviously, it's a parallel ship. There's old school Sandy Koufax, 009 out of 199, blue parallel. Nice little color match there for Andrea and the Dodgers. Got some lime green, lime green Shane Bieber, 118 out of 125 for Patrick and the Tribe. There's JT Real Muto, 16 out of 40 for the Phillies. Mike G with the fight and fills. I don't know how. I don't know how common or not common those Acuna stained glasses are. In some sets, these are like super short print. Some sets, they're not. Anyway, that'll still ship. That'll go to Andrea and the Braves. There's red Tyler Glass now, 52 out of 99. Tampa Bay. Estevan Floreal, green. Rookie green for the Yankees. Now, you know what? I kind of only maybe saw a headline, but I don't really know the details. What happened? Mets, Baez, Javier Baez not getting along? Or Javier Baez like flipped off fans or something like that? Or some kind of gesture to fans. Clark Schmidt, or was it to ownership? 75 out of 199, front office. Some sort of drama there. But they're they they're three and seven in their last ten. They won the last couple of games. I don't know if they, I forget if they won today, but won the last couple of games. But yeah, they've been really struggling. I think I think the Mets and their new ownership definitely expected a lot more from their players. I know I know was it the ownership maybe had called out the hitters or not maybe not called them out, but. I definitely put it out there. It's like, hey, we're, we're not hitting the ball very well. Not a drama there. Syndergaard was about to make a... Noah Syndergaard was about to make a rehab start, but then he landed on the COVID list. So that's going to... 
That's going to delay that when he, was, when he thought he was on the cusp of coming back. No, they, they've, been, they've been struggling for sure. Just hasn't worked out this season. Lindor started off the season really slow. They had to shut the Grom down. All right, fourth and final box, and we're going to give away a boatload of money. Some nice big chunk of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, so fans are booing the players. Baez gave them the thumbs down. He's always been of a bit of a brat anyway, right? And he and, and said something, but the owners put out a statement saying it wouldn't be tolerated and we'll be talking to the team. Yeah, you can't, th can't thumbs down paying fans. All right. Fourth and final box before we give away a ton of money. Craig Vigio, 92 out of 99. So, yeah, I think these are a little more common than I thought, at least in the baseball set. Mike Piazza Silver, that's Mets edition. Vigio will go to Patrick. George Brett will go to Kansas City, 48 out of 199. Kyle. Jose Barrios, 58 out of 199. Dylan Carlson, 95 out of 99. Fearless insert. Donut circles pattern. Jose Garcia, mojo, red mojo, 103 out of 149. Cincinnati. So Jose Garcia goes to Cincinnati. That'll be for Jonathan. Dylan Carlson, St. Louis, Allen. Larry Walker, 14 out of 40. You're on Javier's side. Why, why can't players defend themselves? Sure, they can. But there's consequences for that. For being a brat. Cal Ripken to 199. And Ryan Castellani, rookie silver. 48 out of 99. Fans are booing. They're, they're not playing well. They have the right to boo. It's not like it was like fans running on the field trying to attack Javier Baez. It's not... They weren't throwing like beers on them or popcorn on them or spitting on them or anything like that like we saw in the NBA is Mookie Betts these are paying fans that are essentially paying their salaries they have the right to boo respect I mean if they're respectfully booing yeah they got the right to boo he has to acknowledge he's not playing well he's got to suck that up it's part of the job Keston Hira and I think, Jonathan, my guess is you'd feel differently if he wasn't a former Cub. <laughs> Jonathan being a big Cubs fan, of course. All right. It's Keston Hira. Over there. All right. Now, let's give away a bunch of money. All right, so let's go back to the list. Oh, they were har harassing his son in the stands. Yeah, they, well, they can't do that. Those fans should be punished then. All right. Let's get all this on one screen. But if you're a professional, you got to act professionally no matter what happens. A lot of, uh, a lot of trolls in a chat. But i got to be professional. All right, Alan. I 
There's another Cubs fan defending Javier Baez. Surprise, surprise. Allen with a spot with <clears throat> two teams, one spot. Andrea with six teams. That's three entries. Basically, even number of teams, half those become entries. Brian Crouch, four teams, two entries. Brian K, two teams, one entry. David, two teams, one entry. Joe, two teams, one entry. Jonathan has four teams. That's two entries. Kyle has two teams. That's an entry. Mike with two teams. That's an entry. Patrick, two teams. That's an entry. And Sean with two teams. That's an entry. I got to be careful with this. We're giving away a lot of money. Can't screw this up. Let's take another quick look right here. All right. There's Sean, Patrick, Mike, Kyle, Jonathan, Joe, David, Brian K, Brian C, Andrea, Allen. Now, that analogy doesn't work, right? If Kroger pays your salary, but if Kroger doesn't respect the work, the workers aren't going to want to work any harder. But you're not performing. They're, no one's going to Kroger to see you. And they're not booing you. I mean, Javier Baez is in the entertainment industry. All right, let's grab all these names. Or I guess unless you're talking about like the front office. I don't know. The Mets are kind of a mess right now. Um, so there's everybody right there. We got everyone. That's 15 spots. Everyone bought an even number of teams, so thank you. Let's roll it and randomize it. That list five times. So you got a one in, like one in 15, one spot in 15 is going to get $700, $750 of break credit. Winner take all. After five. Good luck. One and a four. One, two, three, four, and five. Alan Murdoch, after five times, your name's on top right there. Alan Murdoch, $750 of break credit going your way. You could save it for future new releases. You can spend it all this week. Spend it all tonight if you want to. I don't know. You can do whatever you want with it. It's yours. Winner take all. Congrats to you. Hey, thanks everyone for giving this a shot. Get into the next four box break of, of Quick Pitch. I'm sure there's some pretty inexpensive teams that you can buy. Buy two teams. Might win yourself a bunch of break credit like Alan. There he is. Boom, he says. Congrats. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and I'll see you next time for the next Quick Pitch break. Bye-bye.